Today we are doing a six month review on this massive beast of a chest protector right here. The Paso Pro Pack Chesty with a couple special modifications. The shoulders have a double break in them. They do not come like this. Usually it goes straight up and straight flat. They don't have this double break. I kind of wanted a third break, but the double break is nice. Why? Because I like a flatter, rounder shoulder. Pro Pack is all this extra memory foam to give you a softer cushion, extra padding in the stomach area, the extra cushion in the arms, the extra protection in the arms, and the triple layer shoulder. That's the Pro Pack. Give you that extra padding to make sure you're okay and a little bulkier. The size I went with this chest protector. I have a large body. I have medium arms because I like them going a little shoulder, a little shorter. And I have a medium back plate so I can pull it up higher. Because yes, I do not wear a neck guard. I, mean, I will not start now that I'm playing beer league. This chest protector has some of the best mobility I've ever had. Incredible padding. And some great customization features. However, it's not perfect. While we're talking about chest protectors, if you're in the market for any hockey equipment, anything whatsoever, whether it's accessories, big purchases, small purchases, I get all my equipment at Hockey Monkey. They are the place I trust for anything, especially being a full right goalie. It's so hard to find gloves and sticks that fit my side. Hockey Monkey has always been the stop for me. Always, always, always. Anything I wanted, they had it. And if they didn't have it, they could get it for me. So next time you're shopping for some gear, click the link down below and you'll find everything you need at a great price. Some of the pros of this chest protector is its padding. And I'm gonna show you guys how I put on my chest because yes, I don't just slip it on. You slide it on like that. Open the Velcro. I strap it nice and tight at the bottom of this padding thing. And this is nice, by the way. This is a very nice feature where you're allowed to strap it differently. And the way you strap it will let it sit differently on your body. My neck is very well covered. And with my helmet, it blocks this space. There is no space. I love this space. This gap you see in my arms, I love that. It makes my gloves sit comfortably and doesn't push them away. The second thing that I look for is do the shoulders go flat? Lice and plump flat, you see these are not as flat as I'd like them. I do want them just a little more so that when I turn my head, my chin doesn't touch this. The third thing is obviously the mobility, right? You wanna be super mobile when you're wearing these chests. So well, here's my cycle crazy mobility test, right? I can cross my arms and touch my opposite shoulders. I can touch my ears, no problem. I can give myself a hug, no problem. So I have full range of motion flexibility, mobility, everything. So mobility wise, it's great. I can move, I can make that save, no problem. Second test is the helmet test. When I put on my helmet, do I have ample neck room, but it also protects my neck. Ooh, I haven't worn this helmet in a long time. It feels weird. I have neck room. Not as much as I'd like. Like I said, I do want my shoulders a bit lower, but I have neck room and I can see down. So when I'm in my stance in this position, I can look either way, no problem. And my neck is still protected. As you see, you don't see my neck. I'd give the mobility a solid nine, nine and a half. Vision, an eight, just because like I said, I want the shoulders a bit lower, but it is a price you pay <coughs> for these beefier chest protectors. Now, let's go into the cons. Like I said, I want a smaller chest protector in the sense that I want a bit lower. I want it to sit a bit lower shoulder wise and have to make that save. Whereas now I just bulked up and I feel huge. I feel too big. Before I had a nice physique, you know? I had a nice little physique and I felt tiny in the sense that I didn't take up a lot of space, but I could move freely. It was almost like I was wearing a hoodie. Whereas now I feel like I'm wearing a chest protector, not a hoodie. Second thing is, this thing is super thick, okay? Look in the mirror, look when I stand sideways. Look how far out it comes. Look, 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 look at that. And no, it's not because I gained that much weight, okay? Yes, I gained weight, but still. Look, look how far out it comes. My body sticks out tremendously. And I don't like that. I like the clean cut flat look, which I had with my Bauer chest. 
So as much as that's more an aesthetic thing and not really a issue per se, for me it's a con, it's a comfort thing. When I stand here in front of this, I look massive, I feel huge, I take up a lot of space, that's great. But I want to be able to move freely. I would sacrifice size for mobility in a heartbeat. And if you haven't noticed that with my pads, I wear super small pads for a reason. I sacrifice size for mobility all the time. Because if I, I know myself personally, I am a good enough goalie to move into that shot to make the save rather than to rely on, I'm just big, I'm just big, hit me, I'm big. That, that's, that's not what we want here. So this is part of the issue I see with this chest pad is I'm just big. Yes, I can move pretty well. Yes, I'm still pretty comfortable in it, but I'm just big. Now that could also be because I'm getting old and slower and it's beer league and all of that, but still want to be comfortable in my gear, right? Not massive, just uh, feel like Shrek or the Michelin Man. So I think if I didn't have this piece here, it would make it a skinnier looking chest pad and it would have a different effect on me. It really would. It would make me feel a bit smaller. But I don't know how much padding I'd be sacrificing if I got rid of it. I started wearing my chest in my pants and I started tying it down both in the front and in the back. So it pulls it down and it keeps it nice and snug. Where I was wearing my bower chest, my bower chest was outside my pants. So that's something to consider is <coughs> with this new chest pad, I also wear it differently. I don't wear it the same way I wear all my other chest pads. But I am more comfortable with it in my pants. I don't know why, it's just, it, it's, it's, it's a change that I should have done a long time ago. Overall, based on padding, comfort, mobility, overall performance, this is still my number two favorite chest protector of all time. And yes, I'm putting it at number two. There's only two chest pads out of, I think I've worn a dozen of them by now, that I've truly loved. This one and my Bauer 2X, which I was wearing before getting this one. I love my Bauer 2X. It fit all the boxes. Mobility, 10 out of 10. Comfort, 9.5 out of 10. Look, size, feel, 10 out of 10. Because I had that slim look that I like. That thin, dinky look. But I still, I didn't sacrifice padding with it. It made me feel comfortable because I wasn't an oversized goalie just trying to use my size. I was a skilled goalie making a good save because I was in the right spot and because I was able to track it. Not just, hit me with your best shot. Overall, I do recommend this chest. If you're a younger goalie, you're feeling pucks, you need something stronger, you like the size, you like the bulkiness, I highly recommend this chest. And no, this is not a paid ad. Okay, they're not paying me for this. I'm saying this because I've worn Vaughn, I've worn Bryans, I've worn CCM, I've worn Bauer, I've worn Paso. I've wo I haven't worn Kineski, I haven't worn any of those outside brands. Of the five, the three best I had wore, were Bauer, Paso, CCM, in that order. I haven't tried any of the newer stuff, right? The Bauer 2X is the last Bauer I've had. I haven't tried the Eflex 6, I haven't tried the new Hyperlights. This Paso feels great. But I remember having this Paso in juniors and nothing's different. I played juniors 10 years ago. I was 17, 10 years ago. And they have not changed anything in their product. So there is some modifications that could have been done compared to the new leading models. But overall, if you're looking at getting a hunky chest that you don't have to sacrifice mobility, this is a pretty good choice and it's fully, fully customizable. Size, colors, everything. They even got my name on the back. At the end of the day, Chesty is a piece of equipment that you need to be very comfortable with. <clears throat> and I highly, highly recommend you sacrifice size for mobility and comfort any day of the week. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're, talk if you're talking gear, if you're talking hockey, you're going to want to talk with me. I appreciate you guys for being here so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below what equipment you wear, what chest protector you wear, and what you want me to review next. Have a great day.